Let's start with uh, front-facing cameras. Both uh, are capable of shooting 4K, however, Samsung can do 60 frames per second. So this is stabilization. Uh, to be honest, guys, these two phones are one of my favorite flagship devices in 2022. Which one is going to be better in terms of camera performance? Let's find out. I'm going to snap some selfies and you're going to tell me which one is actually better. Sadly, uh, Pixel is limited with some additional features such as dual mode video or portrait video mode, which I'm actually using now on Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. Um, but I just switched to Full HD to get that 60 frames per second on Pixel 6 Pro. But which one do you prefer so far? By the way, if you are enjoying this video, smash the like if you haven't already. Cheers. Ultra wide angle. 4K, 30 frames per second on both. However, again, Samsung can shoot 60 frames per second on ultra wide angle, which isn't available on Pixel. These are the colors. This is stabilization. Let me do a little running. Okay, let's switch to main sensor. Brilliant. Uh, because you can actually switch between the lenses during recording which is very useful and again let's check on stabilization okay times three on samsung times two on pixel that's pretty big difference isn't it and stabilization, surprisingly, is better on Pixel. Wow, okay. Now, times 10 here on Samsung, and there's only times 4 available on Pixel. And stabilization again. Pixel is doing a better job. I know this is. A bit further so that might not be fair uh, but I'm gonna take more pictures now Okay, so this is maximum zoom times 20. You can see the difference. Look at the color difference. Uh, the sky is blue on Samsung, but yeah, the pixel is a bit gray. Which quality is actually better? I don't know. It's really hard for me to tell on the tiny screens. But that's pretty impressive and back to ultra wide angle. What I like on Samsung, uh, you've got those additional features such as uh, dual mode video or pro video mode, which isn't available on Pixel. However, I'm using one of the uh, stable modes and that's about it. There are a few different options uh, for some action, cinematic shots, etc. Not bad.
selfie camera night 4k again uh, and now I'm actually checking the microphone so which one do you think is better Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra or the sound coming from Pixel 6 Pro but I'm gonna take a couple of pictures and then we'll have a look at some uh, video footage. Just very quickly, you'll be switching between the lenses. Okay, wow. Samsung is a lot brighter. Times three here and then times two on the pixel. I mean, the times 10 is just insane. On the pixel, uh, sorry, on Samsung times 10. Now, but I'm gonna have a look at some night photography. <laughs> I'm using Pro Video Mode on S22 Ultra. Sadly, again, it's not available on Pixel, but guys, this Samsung can shoot 120 FPS, uh, 24 frames per second too, and also 8K, which isn't available on Pixel. Very nice. Now, what I'm impressed about Pixel then, it's the uh, color accuracy. The colors are very, very natural. The stabilization is also better on Pixel. Uh, on the other side, I love the features on the Galaxy. There's way more features for photography and the video, as you can see. However, night photography is a lot better, in my opinion, especially uh, ultra wide angle on Pixel. And you know what? The, uh, the night uh, photography, what is it called? Sorry, uh, astrophotography. It's just insane. I have never seen anything like this on the phone before. Absolutely incredible. But what is your opinion, guys? Which one would you pick? You see, I I love value for money, and generally speaking, I think 300 pounds more for S22 is just not worth it. Yes, you've got the S Pen, uh, which is quite useful if you want to uh, use it as a, a shutter button. But generally speaking, when I looked on the DxO Mark uh, to check uh, which one they prefer, and actually Pixel 6 uh, Pro was uh, scored higher. And you know what, I would pick Pixel because it's 300 pounds cheaper. And I think for that money, just, there's no doubt. Hope you enjoyed this episode. If you'd like to see full camera tests of both phones, just click up here. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.